We're looking here at an amortization schedule that we created in a prior exercise. And here I want to walk through the very useful um, activity of calculating a loan payoff. So we want to find a loan payoff. So what is a loan payoff? Well, it, a, a loan payoff is simply the cash amount that the borrower must pay to the lender at any point in time that will completely settle the debt. And so this loan payoff then is the same thing as the ending principal balance that we calculated in the amortization schedule. So if you have the amortization schedule, finding the uh, loan payoff at any given time is super easy. All you've got to do is go to uh, the, the, the payment that you've just made. So uh, assuming that payments are current. So suppose you have made uh, 16 payments. So you're going to go to the 16th payment and then go over to the ending principal column and you'll see that uh, the principal balance after the 16th payment is 15,237 and 43 cents. So that is the loan payoff after payment 16. And you're done. Okay. But in many cases, uh, we, we don't have the amortization schedule right at our disposal, and we would like to have a, a quick way to get to this solution. And it turns out uh, we can. We can do this really quickly with uh, the, the financial calculator. Okay, and so let's let, let's just walk through that. So let's let's pretend that we don't have this amortization schedule. We've got to start from scratch, and uh, we're going to start from scratch and try to find again the loan payoff after the 16th payment. So this is the number here that we're trying to find or recreate. And so we were starting from scratch then, and we had all of these inputs over here for uh, the loan, we could go really quickly to our financial calculator and enter a few values and find uh, the payment. So that would be the first step. All right, the first step is always going to be to find the loan payment. And so in order to do that, we would need to enter 20,000 as uh, the PV. N is going to be five years times 12 payments per year, or 60. I is going to be a 6% APR divided by 12 periods, so that's going to equal 0.5. And then FV, since this is a fully amortized loan and the loan is completely paid off after the 60 months, FV is going to be zero. So we'll need to enter these values into our financial calculator and find uh, the payment. So let's do that then. Well, here's my financial calculator. So I'm going to start by clearing all of the TVM stuff. So I'm starting with a fresh, clean slate. So I'll begin with $20,000, put that in PV. 5 times 12 equals, and that is N. 6 divided by 12 equals I. 0 is FV, and so I've got 4 out of 5. Now I'm going to compute the payment, so compute payment and I have this number here and it shows up as a negative number because I entered PV as positive and you'll see that that number right there matches uh, what we have uh, here in this cell. We've just got a rounded number there in uh, the cell. So we have calculated the payment with the financial calculator and so now how do we go from there uh, to this number here, this payoff after 16 uh, payments. Well, here's the, the, the trick, or here's the, here's the way to, to at least start thinking about it. So imagine what the world is going to be like after the 16th payment. So let's fast forward in time 
and we'll create a timeline with uh, the first period or the, the, the time zero essentially is going to be uh, time 16 on the loan payment schedule and we'll just progress that all the way to 60 now we need our loan payment so recall what our loan payment was loan payment was 386 and we'll just say 66 as a rounded number I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter a rounded number here on the timeline but in the actual calculations I want to use an exact number so that everything is uh, perfect okay and and so what do we have here we have a, a an annuity with how many payments we've got 44 payments there's the payment amount we still have an FV of zero we still have uh, an interest rate on this annuity of 6 divided by 12 equals 0.5 percent so we've got all this information right so really the only thing that has changed here is the number of payments left so we're still finding the present value of an annuity right because because think about what we what, what we want want here we want a cash amount to be paid to the bank at this point right so we're gonna have some cash amount we'll call that the payoff and you're gonna swap the payoff for this series of payments that you owe and cancel the debt right so we are literally solving for the present value of an annuity again the only difference between this annuity and the previous annuity is the number of payments that are remaining all right so this turns out uh, to be very convenient right if we still have our calculator handy right because think about what our calculator remembers our calculator remembers the exact payment amount because it's already in there it remembers the FV is zero it, re it remembers the I is 6 divided by 12 or 0.5 percent okay and so I'm just gonna go in here to my calculator and reset the number of payments right number of payments was 60 I'm gonna change that to 44 put that in in and now I just want to solve for the new present value right because I've got 44 is in 0.5 is I 386 and change as PMT and 0 is FE so all I need to do here is say compute PV and I'm done look at that number there 15 43 let's go back to our amortization schedule look at that 15 237 43 we're done